Hey everyone, it's the Poverty Princess here. I have princess taste on poverty income, and that's why I like to make pretty things. I'm here with my newest creation, which is a really pretty set of holiday, well, set of sconces and a floating mirror. And I will show you how it looks and how easy it is to make. Now, these are my mirrored sconces with the floating mirror. It might look a little complicated, but it's actually very, very easy to do and doesn't take long at all. Now, for this project, you will need two of the Halloween mirrors. You'll need two of these. Um, you'll also need acetone polish remover, which Dollar Tree carries as well, and an old cleaning rag that you no longer need because it's going to be so dirty when you're done with this. You will take the uh, frames and the mirror apart, and you will use the acetone polish remover to remove the skull. You can keep the border if you like. I just removed everything. Um, and then afterwards, you'll clean the mirrors off with glass cleaner, which Dollar Tree has as well. Now, you need to paint these frames. Um, for these mirrors, I used Miracal Metallic Spray. I went with the gold. It's the same paint that I used on the small mirror as well. And one or two coats should take for the mirrors um, and let them dry. Now, then you can also work on the LED candles. You'll need two of these LED candles uh, for your sconces as well. Definitely test batteries in them as soon as you open the package because I got a dud the second or third candle I tried. Second one. Um, it just, it, it wouldn't work. I put two different sets of batteries in and for whatever reason it just wouldn't turn on. So definitely test them and make sure they light up prior to attaching them to the uh, frames. So once you have the candles set up, you can paint the outside of the candles if you like. I opted to basically at the end just use, I hot glued a little bit of glitter ribbon. Um, at the end, when everything was done, you don't have to. You can leave them plain, or you can paint them prior to putting them on the frames. And to attach them to the frames, I simply use a generous amount of E6000 and hot glue to hold it in place while it was drying. I would recommend leaving these set for 24 hours just to be certain that they are attached really, really well. Now, with the small mirror, you simply need one of these uh, pink mirrors that have the uh, rubber uh, suction cups on. Using pliers, remove the suction cups. And then attach blue painter's tape to the uh, mirror. And using the same paint, spray the outside here and the back. I use two coats on this as well. And then when that is completely dry, you can take off the painter's tape. And uh, as a finishing touch, I hot glued some teardrop um, stickers that I got from Dollar General. They were a dollar. I thought they looked pretty on it. Um, in order to attach them, please use a small hot glue gun. I used my large one and gave myself a blister, which did not tickle. Now you can attach these with command strips. I happen to have nails that were already in my wall, um, so it was easy to hang up the sconces, but I did use command strips for the small mirror. I have uh, one on top and one on the bottom, and it looks cool because it appears to be floating against the wall. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, as always, I'm grateful for everybody who watches my videos. I'll have a complete listing down below of 
everything that you need for this project and I'll also have the links for Jay Money's videos um, her original video for her sconces really really inspired me and um, I also took the small mirror idea and thought it would look pretty in between the sconces so if you like it give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and happy holidays everyone thanks for watching bye